Hello guys, this is Phase on Me with the final review of Fields of Valar. And we'll see Catella Gwen, which is an uh, elf. Nick Hero is a wizard. This is the second elf wizard that we've seen ever in Heroescape so far. That is until wave 8. Um, she has Strength of Oak Aura. And any adjacent um, friendly elves will get one more defense. As long as she is adjacent to them. <laughs> two lives, five move, one range, two attack, two defense, 20 points. So if you want to spend 20 points to get an extra defense die because you're using other um, elves, that's not too bad of an idea. Warden, 816. Uh, Evan Yurax, special attack. Range of one, attack five. Um, the special attack cannot be used on small figures. Interesting. Um, guard leadership. All guards you control move one additional space. Two lives, five moves, seven range, three attack, six defense, 90 points. Is a soul board. Cyphering, Elwin, life drain. If you didn't hear me figure that out in the last episode, then you will now, again. Um, each time he destroys a figure, you can take one wound off his card. Shilling Touch. After moving him before attacking, um, you may use Shilling Touch. Choose a figure, um, and roll a 20-sided die. If you roll 1 through 12, nothing happens. Uh, 15, I mean 13 through 15, get, they get one wound. 16 through 17, two wounds. 18 through 19, three wounds. If it's 20, they'll receive six wounds. Um, it does not affect soul borgs or destructible objects. Stealth flying. He cannot take, um, he cannot be affected by leaving engagement attacks when he flies away. Um, six life, eight move, one range, three attack, four defense, 150 points. He is a lord and he is terrifying. Sonya. Life Drain, you've heard me say that before. I won't go through it again. Eternal Strength. Anytime you roll a 20-sided die for Cyphereen, um, showing touch, you may add two to your die roll. Eternal Heartbreak. If you roll... If you control Cyphereen and he is destroyed, um, Sonya will receive two wounds because she's going to be sad. Her husband's dead. Um, she will take leaving engagement attacks. Because she has normal flying. Uh, three life, six move, one range, three attack, three defense, 45 points. Isamu, one of the cheapest figures of the game, but worth it. Vanish nine. If Isamu attack is attacked at least one skull is rolled, roll 20 sided die. If you roll one through eight, roll defense normally. If you roll nine or higher, he takes no damage, and you may immediately move him up to four spaces. He can vanish only if he ends his vanishing move, not adjacent to any, any enemy figure. Phantom Walk. He can um, move through figures and is never attacked when leaving engagement. Dishonorable Attack. When attacking a figure who follows Jandar, the summon rolls two additional attack dice. One life, six move, one range, three de attack, one defense, ten points. He is a unique hero, so you can't have like 20 of them on your team. Um, wave eight is next. Defenders of Kingsland. This will include all of the elves and the Marvel Cavalry. See you later.